Hi, let's do the third thermal energy experiment. For this experiment, you'll need some hot water, some cold water, food coloring of two colors, or you can use paint. So I'm using paint, which is red color and blue color. So red symbolizes for hot water and blue symbolizes for cold water. You also need a spoon to mix, two plastic water bottles, and two glasses. So to start, I've already poked a hole into each of the plastic water bottles. Now we're just gonna put the plastic water bottles into each of the glasses like this. Now it's time to prepare our water. I'm going to take the hot water and pour it into this glass. Now I'm gonna take the red paint and put a few drops. And I'm just gonna mix to make sure the color is red. Now, I already have my cold water in here. I'm just gonna pour a few drops of blue. I'm gonna mix here as well. Now I'm going to pour the blue or the cold water into this plastic bottle. I'm gonna take the hot water and pour it here. Now, if you see closely, because I put the cold water first, it is leaking a little faster. But if you see in the red, the hot water, it's leaking a lot faster because since the hot water molecules are moving so fast and colliding with each other, once they reach the hole, they're going to fill up the glass and drip. Do you see how this cold water is dripping a little slower than the hot water? Well, this is it. This explains thermal energy and concludes the experiment. Thank you for watching.